love antiques and you're on the hunt for something constant, whether it's big, little, small accessories, gifts, decor, items, collector's pieces, you can find them all at Hunt and Burrow. And here to tell us more about that is Britt Michaud and his wife, DeVoe. Good morning to you both. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Well, uh, <laughs> you brought a bunch <laughs> of stuff. I said a moment ago, jokingly, that you were going to have to go back to the store and get some more things, but you got a little bit of everything. Tell us it's exactly. A small sampling. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the business and exactly what it is. Um, we are a um, antique mall setup. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 80, uh, more than 80 dealers. Wow. That uh, are members uh, of our little business, and um, they uh, merchandise and stock their own sections. Mm -hmm. And we facilitate all the sales through the front end. How did yeah. you guys come up with this? Uh, you're out in the East Brainerd area, correct? Correct. And how long have you been out there? We've been open for 14 months. 14 months, and obviously business is doing good. Yes. It's right? doing good. All right, let's take a look at some of the items that we have here. We're going to get this lamp out of the way first. I'm going to <laughs> hold it very uh, hard because as soon as we're through talking about this lamp, it's got to go. Or right, I'll right. knock it over. Tell me a little bit about this piece. A lot of the pieces that we have have been refurbished, um, painted. Mm -hmm. Don't get rid of your old items that you just don't want to use anymore. They can be refurbished, which is what has happened with this lamp. It's been repainted. Um, some of the other things that we have is just like the shutter that we have here. It mm -hmm. was an old shutter, probably on someone's home, but it can be repurposed and reused and intermixed with um, your home decor. Where would you use this in the house? And you, I'm going to put the lamp down yeah. over here so it doesn't get You could use out. it on a countertop just like it is here mm -hmm. to display. You could even hang it on a wall. There's all kinds of things you could do to repurpose an item. What are you guys seeing the biggest demand for now? If you've got 80 different dealers out there, there's got to be a certain commonality among them. What is the big item that maybe you're getting a lot of or that people are asking for a lot? Furniture is big. I mean, it's, uh, and, and unfortunately, it's not what you consider brown furniture or the, the conventional mm -hmm. stained furniture. Right. It's everybody wants the what's uh, in vogue, which is the painted furniture, uh, which a lot of our dealers do a great job at providing that. We even teach the classes uh, through wow. our studio to mm -hmm. furniture painting classes um, featuring uh, this locally made Bella Cray paint. Yeah, you, we've got some of this on the far end of the table that we'll show you a shot of here in just a moment. Is it difficult? I mean, it sounds fairly simple. Paintbrush, paint, furniture, you're done. The, the but biggest, there's a little more to it than that. Well, it's, it's, it's really not. It, it's, it's really um, a very um, easy thing to do mm -hmm. once, you, once you just get started. And what our classes do is just kind of give people that, that uh, that little push, that little encouragement to say, yes, you can do this. And uh, they Some, usually walk out very satisfied with what they've done. Sometimes mm -hmm. people are afraid to take grandma's old trunk or whatever and put paint on it. Right. That can be a little unnerving. And you guys sort of give them the the go ahead the that it's okay to do that. that it right. is okay to do this. Right. All right, tell us about some of the other things you've got down here. This looks like an antique wooden plane. It is. We do have a variety of antiques in the store as well, just like the gas can. Mm -hmm. Again, you can take the old pieces and intermix it with the new um, in your home decor. Uh, farmhouse is a, a style that's very popular right now, mm -hmm. which um, Cotton is pretty popular. You've got um, anything dealing with a farm. Uh, lots of people are uh, redecorating, and that's what they're doing. They're taking um, old pieces and just refurbishing, even putting the, it's okay for them to be chipped and cracked, and mm -hmm. it's still usable. Sure. What are the big, are there, is there a certain big color scheme that you're seeing people leaning towards? Mm. Uh, White. Whites, <laughs> uh, whites are, are popular because they'll go with anything. Mm -hmm. um, we have seen, you know, grays, uh, grays and, and blacks also because, again, they're pretty uh, colors that would, right. would fit with almost any color. Yeah, they color scheme. do. And um, you guys have just got, I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm amazed at some of the items you have here. Uh, I'm we not also going, have I'm a lot not of gonna pick this up. I'm not going to pick yeah. this up. But tell me about this picture here. You can pick it up. If you <laughs> drop it, you can buy it. I'll let DeVoe talk about this. <laughs> um, the toll um, is a, a idea or a, a theme that's pretty popular. This is an old picture. This is something that's kind of fun to interact with, with mm -hmm. the blues and the yellows, right. which is also a fun color. Wow. These other things, uh, we have a lot of uh, artisans mm -hmm. in our store. Uh, Local Some. artists that are yeah. creating items. You've got the brick kiln. Um, we have a lady who does pebble art. Um, 
Now, what is pebble art? Pebble art is the example right here. Man fishing, that one, that one right there. Oh, right here. Okay, gotcha. Now, that's a pretty neat little thing. I, I noticed that just before we went on the air. It was a great Father's like Day that. gift. Sure. And uh, you've got not just antiques, but you've got a little bit of everything there, right? True. We do. Uh, it, it's, um, it's, it's quite an eclectic mix of, of things. And we, uh, there's another aspect of our store or our business where we take a, we have a wood shop mm -hmm. where we can take pieces that... Um, maybe have lost their usefulness right. and repurpose them into something that's more useful. Uh, a case in point are the old TV cabinets that yeah. uh, the big flat screens won't fit in anymore. We, we take those and cut them down. You can still use it as a TV and entertainment center and we, uh, we just repurpose. That's just, a, uh, just a, a small sampling of what we can do. What about like an old TV cabinet from the 60s and 70s, those big wooden monstrosities? What can you make out of them? Uh, <laughs> The sky's the limit. Whatever our imagination can take us, we can. You can take. You can a make bar. bars. You yeah, can make uh, you can make. I've, I've seen them. It's fascinating. I've seen mm -hmm. them put um, fish fish aquariums, aquariums in them and yeah, stuff like it's, that. So. It's, it's amazing. This is again just a small sampling of the things you can find. So we want you to tell us again where you're located exactly. We're um, located off Gun Barrel Road, mm -hmm. Commons Boulevard, 7443 is the address, and we're right behind Home Depot. Right behind Home Depot. In the old Pump It Up. Should be off of Gun easy yeah. to find. Yeah. I want to thank both of you for coming thank down. You. Thanks, Jim. And give us your website if so we can get in touch with you for more information. It's huntandborough.com. Huntandborough.com. It's huntandborough.com.